the No Fate channel. Checking in. Jonathan here, and on this week in review for the home gym community, we've got the lying Liver King finally exposed. We also have Conor McGregor news and all of his sauciness. Ooh. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome aboard. I typically am found covering men's health topics every week, and on the weekends, I like to do a little bit of a roundup in the home gym community. So for those of you not familiar with the infamous Liver King, I'm gonna give you a little bit of back story to catch you up to speed before we dive into how his lies were exposed. So prior to his arrival on the social media scene in 2021, he did own and operate and run a number of successful businesses. In 2021, he created the Liver King persona and quickly amassed over a million followers, in large part because of all his amazingly crazy antics. Number one, the dude is jacked to the gills. Number two, he loves to eat raw liver anywhere and everywhere he possibly can. He's also done a ton of different stunts, both on his Texas ranch in terms of eating 50 raw eggs, as well as at different locations. He was found working out in front of different places in Britain and the White House and all that other stuff in order to amass attention. He's also gone on a number of different podcasts touting his nine tenants not commandments, but tenets on how you can be a better person and, and get as jacked and yoked as him. And of course, he is never found ever wearing a t-shirt. Across all his crazy antics and media attention grabs, the biggest thing that has stood out time and time again is his claim that he is 100% natty, that at 45 years old, he's thick, yoked, and it's all because he's eating liver and not wearing a shirt. While most people take one look at him and realize that his natty claims are as fake as his abs, there are some people out there that are so dumb they would believe anything and they believe that it's all about the nine tenants in order to make yourself as yoked and jacked at 45 as he is. Recently, Derek from More Plates, More Dates, who is frankly almost an expert in the field of PEDs, he's got a very well informed YouTube channel, was given access to emails for essentially or allegedly from the Liver King in which he asked a person well known in the PED world for uh, help on programming all of his gear, his juice, his sauce, his PEDs in order to make sure that he could maximize his gains in order for his persona to skyrocket. In those emails, he details his current use of PEDs, which was exorbitant. Not only that, in terms of amount, but also in terms of price. Upwards of ten dollars to $15,000 a month just for his gear alone. Now, while this is alleged information, it did have a lot of credibility behind it. Derek then goes further in the video, bringing up an old email that he discovered prior to 2021, in which the Liver King asked him for the similar help detailing and highlighting his current PED use, trying to identify ways to improve his output based on all of the gear that he is taking. Liar! Now the majority of us knew he was never natural, but unfortunately those, those natty claims did help feed in to selling his nine tenants along with all the other supplements and sub companies that he owned, making him well over millions of dollars annually just from some of that misinformation. When it comes to people being natural or enhanced or juiced to the gills, I don't give a damn. My only argument and distaste for the whole thing is when people lie stating that they're natural. However, if you buy their supplements, if you follow their nine tenants, and if you subscribe to their business that they're trying to push out, you can look as great and yoked and jacked at your age as they are. However, they leave out the fact that they are on $10,000 plus worth of performance enhancing drugs. And it's just a shame. We have seen that in the past with people like Chris Hemsworth, who clearly gets uh, enhanced for his Thor roles. And of course, he's trying to sell you his body weight workout routines that you can download the app and subscribe. And we all know that people are not getting to look like Thor based on doing body weight exercises and not some exogenous GNC creatines, if you know what I mean. Speaking of natty or not, we have Conor McGregor in the news as usual, and he is currently looking absolutely bonked off his mind on gear. He is looking thick with three C's, 
and he is literally 30 pounds over his fighting weight, if not more. So part of that reason is because he currently or just finished shooting Roadhouse Remake, a famous movie from back in the early late 80s, early 90s, and he's doing a remake. So of course he had to get bulked up for the role to look as beefy as possible. Now we have seen countless actors get yoked for roles, whether it's Thor, whether it's Wolverine, Captain America, it happens. We know that there's something in the water. So why should we care when Conor McGregor does it? Well, he is a UFC fighter and UFC fighters are tested um, by USADA, one of the strictest performance enhancing testing places out there when it comes to PED use to make sure that the field is completely level. Well, he has been out of the USADA testing pool, which means no one's knocking on his door at six in the morning to find out if he is completely bonked off his mind on some serious gear, even though he looks it. Now, what does that mean for him as a fighter? It means that he needs at least six months on the USADA testing pool, uh, six clean months uh, to be on there in order to fight, which means since he's not even listed on the USADA registry in terms of potential people that can be tested, it doesn't look like he's gonna be fighting anytime soon. It'll be interesting to see how his body will react probably not positively, to being in the USADA testing pool for six months after he has to get off the alleged saucy sauce. I think it's not going to bode well for him because not only is he going to be getting off of the good stuff, he is unfortunately going to have to cut some serious weight if he wants to fight at his previous weight limit. What's new in the home gym community? Well, Cyber Monday, Black Friday, they have sailed on by and it was a great season for the consumer in terms of deals. Many of the deals started as early as November 1st, I think for two main reasons. Number one, and probably the, the latter reason, is that shipping is such a pain and they want to make sure that everything that is ordered prior to Cyber Monday is actually received before Christmas. And number two, they wanted to steal your business. They know that as a consumer, you're only going to buy a power rack, a set of dumbbells, or even an expensive barbell once and only once. So they wanted to grab your attention, grab your business before other companies released their Cyber Monday and Black Friday deals. The good news for consumers is that many of us, myself included, got to take advantage of these deals and pick up some pieces of equipment on the cheap. And it's always good to save money because the more money you save, that means the more money you can put into future purchases. Also, I think the used market is heating up. And by heating up, I mean that personally, I've seen a lot of more stuff placed on Facebook Marketplace and offer up for home gym equipment and the prices have come down. So I think people realize that frankly, the home gym equipment market is just not as hot as they thought in terms of resale on their equipment. Number two, a lot of people who upgraded their equipment currently have to then get rid of their old equipment. So you're gonna see a lot of stuff on Facebook Marketplace, I believe, and I think the prices are gonna come down, making it very, very good if you are on a budget and you are looking to buy used. A few things that stood out this past November is frankly, Titan Fitness never released their open trap bar. They had teased it, they had promised it to be released in November, and it never came to fruition. As far as the rest of the year goes, and even into early January, I don't foresee a lot of sales on home gym equipment because, say, we, they just had the craziest sales of the year, and for many of them, they're trying to rebuild their inventory. I am hopeful that a lot of companies are going to utilize the January 1st timetable when people are having their New Year resolutions in order to release new equipment or even upgraded versions of current equipment because that's always nice to see and I think that'd be an ideal time to do so. So what's coming down the pike on this channel? Well, I am going to take you through a full day of eating on my bulk. I'm also going to be reviewing Rep Fitness's selectorized lap pull down and low row power rack attachment that they just basically mailed out. They just kind of released it. It was on pre-order and now boom, it's hitting people's home gyms. So I thought it'd be a good time to review the one that I finally got set up. And I'm also going to be taking you through a few of the changes that went into my home gym now that I've finally taken into account my own advice after nearly two years. <laughs> If you know of any great home gym videos or content creators that I need to be highlighting, drop them in the comments below. 
While you're down there, check out the affiliate links. They do support the channel and help me create more content going forward. If you came this far in the video, you and I are officially best friends. That's right, the liver king and liver. Thanks for making it to the end. And as usual, don't save anything for the trip back.